Sending your native Tinkercad designs directly to Fusion 360 is a great way to refine your design with additional tools. Autodesk Fusion 360 offers a suite of design and manufacturing tools, including the ability to design, render, animate, add joints in motion, and more. Fusion 360 also allows you to adopt some Tinkercad presets, helping make the transition easier. In Tinkercad, I've opened the Balloon Racer sample file. It's important to note that only native Tinkercad shapes will transfer to Fusion 360. Imported shapes or complex shapes from other sections of the Shapes panel will not transfer over. The scribble shape and the text shape will send to Fusion 360. It's also best to double check how your objects are grouped. Make sure to only group objects that you want to stay as a single 3D body. For example, leaving the wheels and axles separate from the main car body will allow us to make edits, including applying different appearances. Once your file is ready to send, start by selecting Send To in the upper right. Select Autodesk Fusion 360. After selecting Continue, you have the option to choose your desired Fusion Team and Project folder. If you've previously sent the Tinkercad design to Fusion 360, you may be prompted with an error message that the file name already exists. Type your desired file name. Remember you can always update the file name in Fusion 360 or Fusion Team. Selecting Send will provide you with a choice to view on Fusion Team or to open in local desktop, which will open the file in your Fusion 360 application. When you select the Open in Local Desktop, Tinkercad will automatically open your Fusion 360 application and the file will appear. Note that it may take a few seconds to automatically transfer the file. The first time you send a file to your application, you may be prompted to allow Tinkercad to control Fusion 360. Select Open to view the file in Fusion 360. If you happen to receive a notice about a corrupted file, double check that you're using the latest version of Fusion 360. Complete any software updates and restart your Fusion 360 application. Then restart the Send To process in Tinkercad. Notice we were able to send the file to Fusion 360 without exporting it locally. Let's now take a look at sending the model directly to Fusion Team. Back in Tinkercad, I'll select Send To once again. This time, I'll choose View on Fusion Team. Note that this workflow requires you to first select a Fusion Team and Project. After a few seconds, you'll receive a similar notice that you'll be taken outside of Tinkercad. Selecting Continue to Fusion 360 will automatically open a new web browser tab and it will load Fusion Team. Sending directly to Fusion Team will help you save the file to a specific classroom folder defined by the teacher. As a student or educator, you also have browser access to Fusion 360, which is available to run on Chromebooks. Note that browser access does require an Autodesk Education account. If you're on another license type, then you'll have to continue with Fusion 360 desktop access. Those that use Fusion 360 on the browser can use the View on Fusion Team workflow since there is no local application to send to. When accessing Fusion 360 in the browser, you can locate your Tinkercad design in the data panel within your chosen project. Double click to open the file. The Balloon Racer file is now in your Fusion 360 application or browser and we can start refining the design. Muscle memory plays an important role when designing with software. You can make Fusion 360 feel more familiar by adjusting your navigation preferences. Select Preferences and choose Tinkercad from the drop-down list. This will update your pan, zoom, and orbit shortcuts to match Tinkercad. You can also reverse the zoom direction if it feels that your mouse wheel is zooming in the opposite direction. In Tinkercad, selecting an object will select the entire body. In Fusion 360, selecting an object will select only a face or edge. You may find it helpful to set your selection priority to the option called Select Body Priority. Fusion 360 will then select entire bodies when clicked, while the various modeling features are still intelligent enough to help you select edges and faces. You're now ready to start modifying your model in Autodesk Fusion 360.